Alashkar won the league by six points last season and only missed out on a double on penalties when they were beaten in the Armenian Cup final by Gans Izar. In Viruja and Sukirzian, they have a former Armenian national manager in the dugout. The club have seen steady success since moving to Yerevan in 2013 from the previous home, Martuni, winning the Armenian Super Cup in 2016 and three successive league titles. Despite a relatively short history in European competition, they've already faced off against Scottish opposition. Redmore, Scott Brown blasts UEFA as he says Celtics challenge his toughest yet knocked out St. Johnstone their first appearance. In Europe came during the 2015-16 season when they were paired with St. Johnston in the Europa League. Having deservedly beaten Saints 1-0 at home, an away goal at McDermott Park was enough to secure a famous aggregate victory over Tommy Wright's men. In truth, St. Johnston should have progressed and only had themselves to blame for not doing so, having gone a goal ahead in Perth and seen the Armenian side reduced to 10 men with 25 minutes to play. A lash Kurt showed a resilience and a ruthlessness that Saints did not, however, and scored a crucial away goal 17 minutes from the end to seal the progress. Although St. Johnston scored again to win on the night, they couldn't force a third to take them through. Redmore Celtic drawn to face Alashkert in UEFA Champions League qualifies Alashkert's qualifying track record while they were knocked out by Kazakhstan side Karat Almaty in the following round, Alashkert have found the feat at a higher level since. In last year's Champions League qualifiers, they dispatched Andor and side FC Santa Coloma in the first qualifying round and held experienced European campaigners Bait Borisov 1-1 in Belarus before losing 3-1 at home. Celtic will deservedly travel to Armenia as strong favourites, but they'll face a side with the ability to make things difficult, together with a long flight and a pitch which won't necessarily suit Celtic's passing style. The draw has not been quite as favourable to the Scottish champions as it might have been. Written by Andy 